You want to sing and love rock music, but all your favourite songs feel impossible. Don't worry, whether it's for karaoke, starting singing lessons, or just singing around the house, I have five no pressure rock songs to get you started. People often ask me where to start with singing and rock can seem like an intimidatingly epic genre. However, there are lots of songs to get you started. Now, when people first start singing, they often come across songs that are too low or too high. So I've picked five rock songs from different ranges, from different eras, so there should be something for everyone there. Now, as people do have various ranges, I I have picked songs that are in a comfortable range for various voice types, so you might have to give it a go to see if it works for you. And I've linked in the karaoke track and a link to the entire song in the description below, so you can give them all a go after the end of this video. I Love Rock and Roll is a rock song written by Alan Merrill and Jake Hooker of The Arrows in 1975. However, we're going to be looking at the 1982 cover version by Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. Now, it might be a little low for some higher voices in the verse. I've got plenty of songs coming up for you guys in this list but with a range of G3 to G4, it has a smaller range and doesn't venture too high. It's repetitive and catchy, so easy to remember. It has lots of short phrases with spaces in between, so you have plenty of time to breathe. And it can be kind of speak sung in those higher phrases, so if you're not so comfortable with pitching yet, it's a great place to start. Hit Me With Your Best Shot is a song recorded by American rock star Pat Benatar and written by Eddie Schwartz. It was recorded as her second single from her second album, Crimes of Passion, which became her biggest selling album. This one is better for mid to high voices with a range of B3 to B4. It can be a little high for some people and it can sit over the break for some people so it's worth giving it a try and seeing if it works for you. This is another catchy song with lots of repeats, easy to remember lyrics and lots of space for breathing. It does have one held note in it that sounds a little intimidating but it's actually not any higher than any of the notes in the chorus and if you do struggle with holding that note it can be cut short it will still sound great Knife Under My Pillow is a song recorded by Maggie Lindemann for her new EP Paranoia this year 2021 Inspired by the paranoia you get after watching a horror movie, this is a fun pop rock emo song. It sits pretty mid-range for mid to higher voices with a range of G3 to A4. If you're in alto, it could sit over your break, so give it a try and see if it works for you. It has short phrases with plenty of space to breathe. It does have a couple of held notes, which can be a great start to working on breath support. However, if you aren't ready, these can be cut short. And it's all about keeping crisp, clear diction and a steady rhythm. So if you can keep that going, you are on to a winner. Celebrity Skin is the 10th single by American alternative rock band Hole and was released in 1998. It's the debut single from their third studio album and is one of their most commercially successful songs. The lyrics written by their singer Courtney Love contain a lot of literary references including a direct pick 
from a Dante Rossetti poem, Oh Look at My Face, My Name is Might Have Been, as well as from Shakespeare with A Pound of Flesh from Merchants of Venice. This is arguably one of the most challenging on the list and it's definitely for lower voices as it goes down to an E3. The highest note in the chorus is an A4, but most of the melody sits on an F4, so you can adapt so you don't have to go up to that higher note. This is a really fun song with lots of space to breathe, and although it is one of the more challenging songs, it is all about attitude, so it doesn't need to be sung perfectly to sound great. Night is a song written by Bruce Springsteen and Patti Smith that was first released in 1978 as part of Patti's album Easter. Bruce Springsteen originally wrote it for his album Darkness on the Edge of Town but gifted it to Patti when they were working at the same studios. She recorded it with some of her lyrics and it became her biggest hit. This one sits in a comfortable mid-range for most voices, but with a range of F sharp 3 to G4 can dip a little below some higher voices range. So if you have a higher voice, give it a go and see if it works for you. This song has fluid, smooth phrases in the verse and short accented notes in the chorus. So it's loads of fun playing with articulation in this one. The song sounds great in most people's voices. As with all of these songs, sing it with attitude and it's gonna work. I hope this gave you some ideas to get you going on your singing journey and you're gonna have some fun singing them. If you have any more ideas, please do pop them in the comments below. I think that will be beneficial for people watching. And once again, a big thanks to my patrons. If it wasn't for you guys, the channel would not occur. And thanks to you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>